thing. Um, we actually have someone here in the audience today that is going to ask a question live. Oh. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pace from Kansas City. How have your cultural and musical differences helped or hindered the creative process? Oh, that's a professional wow. question. <laughs> you might have to ask that again. Well, I haven't been in college for a while, so. <laughs> How have your cultural and musical influence, the differences, altered, um, helped, or hindered your musical and creative processes? <laughs> well, actually, I think I think um, all of us come from pretty diverse backgrounds, but we all have. We we find that we have the same love of the same music of lots of different types of music, and I think that's chosen in the sound that we make together. It's very diverse, and that that's because it comes. You know, we all are influenced by so many different types of music. But as far as culturally, um, we just traveled around the world for about two and a half years, so that I think that totally went into this album. And um, when you come from a place like Orange County, you realize that. Um, I don't know, it's such a small place compared to the rest of the world and there's so much more out there and I think just having your eyes open to that, um, you have to grow in some way and I think we really did so I think we really tried to put that into this record. Yeah, yeah that's a culture thing, right? <laughs> Um, I wanted to say that when I'm listening to this record, I, I can hear the vulnerability in it. I can I can hear the growth in it. And um, it's were you guys vulnerable while you were writing these songs? I mean, did you feel you really opened up and, and shared everything? Yeah, I think I think that's most evident in Gwen's lyrics. You know, she really really opened herself up. <laughs> And I think that people can see that they're very sincere and very honest, you know. Yeah, it, that's what I was relate. thinking. It's a very honest record. It's a very, it's, um, it, she's really, she's pouring her heart out here. I don't really know, um, as of yet, I haven't learned how to be a creative writer and kind of make stories up and, or tell a story about someone else. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to do that next time maybe. But uh, I think that um, the only way I know is to kind of go through experiences and then write about it. And uh, Everyone's like, oh, you're being so open, aren't you scared, this and that. And really what I think is, uh, I think I'm talking about things that everyone goes through, really normal stuff, nothing to be ashamed of, you know, just all the stuff we all go through, jealousy, uh, you know, uh, um, I don't even want to list all of them, it's embarrassing. <laughs> just read the record and you'll know. But um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's important to write from your heart. And I think that's one thing that sets us apart from a lot of the bands out there, or not necessarily bands, but the popular groups right now because really um, we're not manufactured it's this is like a group of friends that got together 13 years ago we don't have a boss we don't have anyone telling us what kind of music to write we just get together and, and do whatever comes out of our hearts so well thank you for sharing that oh you're welcome and we're going to go to our next caller and our next caller is Katie from Kansas hi Katie hi hey Katie okay First, I want to say, um, Gwen, when I heard you singing Just a Girl, it, like, inspired me. It made me want to become a singer someday. And, and so, like, me and my friends started a band and everything, and you guys inspired us to do that. And I just want to say that for Katie. All right. That's, right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> do you have a question, Katie? Okay. Um, my question was, you guys have so many different people all over the world and all these fans who idolize you. Who were your idols when you were growing up and why? We all have different idols. Um, I was going to say when you were telling me that, that um, we probably wouldn't be a band if it wasn't for this English band called Madness. Um, <laughs> We do really like that kind of music, and we thought um, we thought we were really cool because we discovered it, and not everyone at our high school knew knew about it. So um, we thought we would copy them. So you know, here we are. We ended up um, getting to play with them, so it all came full circle for Thank us. You. I think everybody should list their favorites. So Tony came. Oh, there's from so here. many. There's so many, huh? Another band that we um, were directly inspired by here in California was Fishbone. Yeah. Playing with we got to we got to play with them a bit way back like in 1987, 88, and those were such incredible shows. And I think um, they inspired us to have all this energy on stage as well. You know, if there was if there was one band here that we got to play with and see that, it was them. Let's hear 
around. It's like American Bandstand. <laughs> and our next caller is Jeanette from Northridge, California. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, how are you? What's up? Hey. We're really happy because our record came out today. <laughs> um, hi. Um, my question is, in your many years as a band, what do you think has helped you guys maintain a good bond with each other? Oh. A good sense of humor. As Tom brought up before, the farts have really, really helped farts are like keep blue, things in the way, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. That's inappropriate. Sorry, Mom. My mom's here. It's a good sense of humor, I think, huh? I think it's a sense of humor that kept us together. Don't you? Love for the same music. Love for each other. Aww. Love and humor. I mean, you, you can't do better than that, can you? That's the most important part. And the music. And the music. Well, that's second. Well, I, I don't Well, maybe. Yeah, friendship and love is first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, speaking of the music, we are, um, we're going to... Ask you guys if you play some more songs for us. Sorry. Should I tell a story about this one? Like storytellers? <laughs> I just want to say, everyone asks us this. Um, do you ever get sick of that song? You probably guess which one it is. And, you know... Honestly, um, the song Don't Speak is it's the song that kind of took us around the world and the song that is responsible for us being a band still probably and being able to make the record Return to Saturn. So this is, um, the song is dedicated to us. 